It's 10 questions. Not taped in front of a live studio audience. Number one, Mike Gam, who had better luck with the ladies at Fordham, you or Andrew Bogus? Oh, it was me. It wasn't even close. Drew was we knew that. Drew was locked down. Are you kidding me? Man. Oh, he's been locked down with Katie since then? Yeah, this that think that goes like way back, oh, man. I didn't realize that. He, you know, I think what happened was Drew knew that he couldn't do better. And she, he outkicked his coverage. Yeah. Like, I mean, you've seen his kids. They're gorgeous. So you just so. have to, well, you have to know when to fold them. You go, I'll never do better than this. 100%. And he would tell you the same thing. <laughs> uh, number two, do you prefer to be introduced by your full name, Michael Frank Yam? <laughs> There's only one person that's ever introduced me as Michael Frank <laughs> consistently on air, and that would be one Andrew Bogus. So my mom loved it, by the way, when we were back in school. <laughs> Number three, what's your favorite place to eat on Arthur Avenue in the Bronx? Oh, God, there's too many, man. Uh, Mario's for me was always, always What's the, the order spot. at Mario's? Uh, dude, I'm a huge, like, fried calamari guy. Oh, yeah. So there's a place in Little Italy. I, you, I, you were asking about some of those mm-hmm. old stomping grounds. Father's Day, I was down Little Italy in Manhattan. Great restaurant. My grandparents used to go there back in the day. My parents. I mean, I get the same thing every single time. I've been going there since I can remember. I like that. Yeah. A fried calamari. There it is. Number four. What's the worst joke you've heard regarding your last name? Ah, uh, you know, I don't even, I, I think they're all bad, right? I mean, any. Stop yammer time? <laughs> We're going to go with that one, T.A. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the fact that you sold it the way you did Thank to you. me. Yeah, no, that's yeah. that's strong. Appreciate that's strong. It. Number five, <laughs> hot tub party with Josh Rosen or a big ballers barbecue with LeVar and Lonzo Not Ball. even close, man. I'm going hot tub. Are you kidding me? I mean, I, how I'm, can you blame Rosen for that? Like, people are all over him. I'm like, yeah. yeah. If I had a hot tub with chicks in my dorm room, I would do that. Can, I, dude, you're so. Co- you, just think about all the dumb stuff you used to do in college and the fact that we weren't, you know, I, I'll speak for myself. You know, you're not like a big time yeah, college bo- athlete. Bogish was, but you yeah, and I were yeah. not. So, like, you're not like a big time college athlete. You know, the stuff that you could probably get away with back in the day just because yeah. there wasn't all the social media. Yeah, like, do you think Joe Namath didn't have a hot tub in his dorm? Yeah. Do you know there wasn't Facebook when I was in school? Yeah, same. I mean, that's that, that, like, that changed the complete deal, but I'm going hot tub. Are you kidding me? Changed kind of the close. game. Yeah. Number six, when did you know Andrew Bogish would be great? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll say this. This is a true story. First time, and he he's not going to remember this. First time, first time you met him. First time I ever met Andrew was, I'll never forget, we were in Keating Hall. It was a radio, it was a meet, meeting that we had at WFEV where we started. And Andrew, he, he appeared to be one of the smarter guys in the room. Little did I know that that was just a facade totally. and that's really yeah. not accurate. Yeah. But um, Faked it he, well. But yeah, I mean, because he, you know, he was older than I was. He seemed to know his stuff. So I, just a year, Mike. I, I, I'm going to hold <laughs> on to it, grandfather. though. No, no, no. Because I, I, I feel like I'm getting old, so I want to hold on to yeah. my youth. So if I can point sure. to other people being older than I am, then, then I'm going to do it. But Drew always had his stuff together, man. So. Number seven, what's the best thing to eat in a bread bowl? I actually... This is embarrassing. I've been in San Francisco for five years. I have never had the bread bowl. You know. I know. It's, yeah, we it's, are so disappointed. I know. It's you got to get the chowder in the bread bowl on the pier in San Francisco. But you know what? Because I used to live two blocks from there. Uh, even more offensive. Which is, which is really bad. Really? Which is even worse is four years at Fordham, and I never, when I was there, never went to the Bronx Zoo or the Botanic Forest oh, across the street. embarrassing. So, you leave, so I've, embarrassing. I've, I've been since. Get I've out been, of your dorm I've, room or your uh, apartment no, no, here, no. Yam. Oh, I, we had the hot tub in my. Why was oh, I going to okay, leave? That's true. That's so, fair. no, no, but I, I, no, I just, they don't do, um, they they do uh what's the clam chowder the one with the red sauce as opposed to the creamy one that's manhattan manhattan i'm a manhattan clam chowder guy they don't, i can never remember that. they don't they <laughs> don't do that in san francisco it's yeah, they the, do the white one they yeah, do the wings i doesn't that doesn't appeal to me it looks nasty have it it's delicious right, was go this good Mirage, the fish stew and the New England clam chowder and the bread bowl was amazing. Oh, my. We, that was the best part of San Francisco when we went on the Ghirardelli, but yeah. Oh, yeah. You got to go with the chocolate. You ever get the, uh, they got like the sea salted caramel deal. Oh, my Ghirardelli. goodness. That's Ghirardelli. I've had it all, Yammer. That's the, that's <laughs> the, <laughs> I'm a fat lord. <laughs> uh, number eight. Why are San Francisco summers so cold? Scientific explanation, please. I am so disappointed by the way because it has been gorgeous the last few days in san francisco from what i've seen and i'm not there i was four days it's nice i know this summer you're gone here's the best part though there's there's never snow 
And as a kid, like I see snow now. That's the weirdest thing about moving out to the West Coast. People want to go to Tahoe to go skiing. And they're like, oh, why wouldn't you going to go? Because you guys are crazy. Why would I go to find snow? You're telling Don't me I got to drive two and a half nope. hours to go to no, snow? No, thank you. That's, that's a back problem. I see the white stuff falling. That's the last thing I want to see. <laughs> But you didn't give us a scientific explanation. Oh, uh, Why is it so cold yeah, in the summer? That's a miss for me. I think it's, I don't know, something with the wind in the bay. Because you, you go over the bridges yeah. into Marin County or the East Bay, it's actually warm there. There's some type of wind thing that's happening yeah. there. Uh, number nine, have you taken a picture in front of the full house house? I don't, I don't want to admit this. <laughs> uh, yes, I have. Yes! Yes, you have. We did as well when we went out for the Super Bowl. It's an amazing photo op. It is. It, it's, you know, and, like, the park across the street is yeah, actually a lot of fun. You know, it's where, like, DJ and, and Mary Kane, they used to, like, comment. Oh, kudos to you, dude. You that is a next-level yeah. Full House reference. So <laughs> I never would have gotten that. Everywhere you look, <laughs> Mike M is hosting that show now. <laughs> and finally, five favorite superhero movie. I just saw Wonder Woman the other day. Okay. And not it was good. Uh I think Iron Man one oh, is I think I Iron Man one for me is is probably the best one. I would say Iron Man two is probably in that conversation. I've always been partial to the X Men movies. Haven't seen Logan, but I heard amazing things about it. Okay. I don't know if I've given you five. Those are so, good answers. Okay. Well, Those good are again. very good answers. Mike Gam's ten questions, very successful right there.